I am legalistic. Pushing everything too much towards the approval and standards of this world to the point of making no room for errors. And I hate it when people fail to meet my expectation, causing them not to improve even if there's an existing solution. But not until I've experienced the same as them. One day came, didn't expect that I would fail that much, didn't thought of I would be doomed as such as I did to them when I wasn't on their feet. Like listing all the wrongs on a paper sheet. Guilt, shame, fear, condemnation, indeed, all this clothed me. So here I am. Started seeking for people's validation, yet all I felt was no appreciation. Pushed myself into its limit, showing the world my best in a way that is explicit. Ended up growing weary, my regrets became like an expanding fury, became friends with anxiety. All the lies in my head are now my reality. Closing and opening my eyes day and night, you are a failure, says my mind. I was too hard, ashamed, unforgiving. I had no courage. No hope, no chances, not anymore for the people around me, but this time, for myself. Myself. I used to see myself highly than others silently. And yes, surely aware of this false humility, but that one failure triggered the idea that I am, and no human, is the center of the universe. And as I find myself going through such great self-cause oppression, I then gradually ended up being in the center of exhaustion. Oh, the doors seem to be closed. You deserve it, the enemy boasts. Mentally, emotionally, physically, socially, spiritually, I was tortured. All of me was ruined. Agony now hastened. All I am went to bore, and I just couldn't love myself anymore. But one day, I woke up on a man's tightest hug, whispering to my ears, Dear, this is too much. You have had enough. It is not for you to redeem yourself, said a gentleman whom I just met and chose to love me even to the point of death. He mentioned the four-letter word, namely, love. That was he said, you are my love, my dearly loved. In your failure, my love for you there, you cannot measure. And rest assured that there is no situation beyond restoration. But as we go further, with all honesty and transparency, I asked the man, what do you mean by love? And he said, love is patient, love is kind, love does not envy, love does not boast, it is not arrogant, It is not rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. And as for me, to the man who pursued me in my highs and lows, couldn't offer anything but a grateful heart. Thank you for redeeming me.